important ten round bout. This ABC Sports exclusive is being brought to you. This is the Joe Lewis Arena in Detroit, Michigan. Panoramic shot of it. They are dedicating the arena in memory of Joe this very night. The fights have been held here previously. The great bar Brown Bomber may be the greatest heavyweight who has yet lived. His wife and children here tonight, and so it figures to be a festive occasion. Hello again. Again, everyone, it's good to have you with us. We hope we've got some exciting boxing for you tonight, but in truth, only time will tell. Of course, it'll be Holmes against Spinks, who himself was once the heavyweight champion of the world. But right now, we're getting ready for an important 10-round bout, and it'll be the European champion, John Gardner, against unbeaten Michael Dokes, and my friend of 30 years will be calling that fight for you. Veteran boxing announcer, Chris Schenck. 30 years. <laughs> well, that went as fast as our bout's going to start. We're ready to go. Both fighters, John Gardner, the European champion, is in the ring in the far left corner, and Michael Dokes is in the near right corner, and this is a scheduled 10-round bout. The referee is Tom Briscoe, and they're boxing under the Michigan rules. They're different, of course, than the WBC, and it's going to be a fast-paced opening round, as you can see. That's Dokes, undefeated. This is his 21st professional fight, ranked number three by the WBC. Gardner has often been compared to a Sherman tank. Good left hook by Dokes. Round one of a scheduled ten-rounder Joe Los Arena. And a good combination by the European champion who is tough as they come. Toe-to-toe -to -toe here in the first round. Gardner in the red trunks has lost only twice. He has never been knocked out. He has 28 knockouts in a career of 33 wins. He doesn't do it with one punch. He does it with a flurry of blows. But Dokes is standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Dokes used to be a heavyweight that would run. But now he's flat-footed. And he wants to punch it out with the European champion. 215-pound Michael Dokes of Akron, Ohio, fighting out of Fort Lauderdale. From Hackney, England, at 208 and a half pounds, is making his American debut and impressive here in the first round. Well, if the Spinks Holmes fight starts like this and can be sustained, you're in for two hours of action here from Joe Louis Arena Live. Tom Briscoe was a last minute substitute as the referee. Michigan rules, the three judges do the scoring, a 10-point must. The referee only supervises the bout as it happens in this 20-and-a-half square ring. Beautiful, sturdy ring. And needless to say, you can see that the two fighters have not used it very much. Staying right in the center and checking each other out, trying to find an opening. The left jabs are not as fast. There was one of the quicker ones by Dokes thus far in the fight, and a missed right-hand lead. But coming in with that left hook, a beautiful shot by Dokes, another one. We're nearing the end of the first round, and look at Gardner take the punches. He is a tough champion from Europe. heavyweights when he's hurt he can come back there's a jab that you saw it snap Dokes head back what a first round about 20 seconds remaining in the initial round of the schedule 10 Dokes now has a tiny cut over his left eye his back is to us in the white trunks six foot three inches tall look at that wide stance flat-footed normally he's up on his toes and does a lot of moving around the ring oh he missed a sizzling right here alongside the Detroit River at Joe Louis Arena, we go into round two of a live 10-round non-title bout. Michael Dokes in the white trunks, 215 from Europe. His American debut, John L. Gardner. Better enough, 35 fights, lost only two, and we hope you saw the first round. It was a slugfest. Not an awkward slugfest. They were toe-to-toe -to -toe with plenty of jabs, good combinations. Both fighters felt the sting of the opponent's punches, and they're doing it right again. They're within range. That jab just has to flick out there like Dokes did on the head of Gardner. Gardner, 208 and a half. A good body shot by Dokes. 
his last fight was against Randall Texcoff in March. This is the first fight for Gardner in the United States. His last fight, he KO'd Asi Ocasio. Look at this slugfest. An important fight for both heavyweights. Rank number three is Dokes on the far side. Possibly 10 or 11 is Gardner from Europe. Both hoping for a title shot. And Larry Holmes waits in his dressing room for his 10th title defense of a heavyweight championship that he's proud of. And trying to regain a heavyweight title is Leon Spinks. We've reached the halfway point of the slower-paced second round. That was a glancing right-hand lead by Dokes. Dokes needs to jab, just as he did there. Oh, a body punch that you can feel here at ringside. And Dokes gets one on the left side. A good shot by Gardner. Caught Dokes on the side of the face. This is scheduled for 10. The pace it's going, I don't think it will last. We have a minute remaining in the second round. There you saw the power, the accuracy of the left jab, snapping that head of Gardner. I break, break. Their defense is catching punches and trying to retaliate. Where they're glaring at each other, it's almost like a grudge battle. It's the first time they've seen one another. Three judges here. One happens to be a lady named Rosemary Grable. Two gentlemen. They're jabbing each other's heads off. The bell coming up, round two. Now we're in round three. Cutman Bill Prezana, the corner of Michael Dokes. Again, uh, puts him a Dremlin 1000 on the tiny cut on the eyelid, the left eyelid of Michael Dokes in the white trunks. Undefeated. 21 bouts, 20 wins. He has a draw. They have had four like opponents. In the red trunks. From Hackney, England, is a man that won on a six-round knockout over Ocasio in March of this year and appears very, very fit for this scheduled 10-rounder. Gardner has only gone 10 rounds once in his career of 35 fights because he has 28 knockouts. He is unmarked, red in face, however, from the jabs and some of the hooks thrown by Dokes. Dokes at 6-3, John L. Gardner of England in red at 6-1. This round and the third round, but near the halfway point or even later. Everyone expected that John L. Gardner of England, as the pace slows down now, catching their breath, would be charging like a mad bull. Good snapping away by Dokes. That's one of his better defensive skills. Snapping away or slipping the punches. He avoided getting caught with a heavy shot. Great upper body movement, a massive upper body on the part of Dokes at 215 pounds. Ten knockouts for Dokes. One thing about Dokes, when he uh, digs that left hook to the body, he does not telegraph it. The referee, Teddy, uh, Tommy Briscoe, says keep the punches up. There have been no knockdowns cut on the left eyelid of Michael Dokes in the first round. Been a very close fight. Remember, it's the 10-point must here. Michigan State Commission rules. Three knockdown rule is in effect, and those were Michael Dokes' best shots. And the Englishman took them. Can be saved by the bell in all rounds. That'll 
would not be true under the WBC rules, which prevail when Larry Holmes comes out of the dressing room after this fight to meet Leon Spinks, a scheduled 15-round World Heavyweight Championship bout. Less than 10 seconds, and they'll get a rest. And now here at Joe Louis Arena, before perhaps 12,000 boxing fans on the Holmes Spinks card, we're in the bout preceding the championship fight. And the red trunks on the right at 6'1", 208 and a half pounds from England. John L. Gardner lost only two against American hopeful in the heavyweight division, Michael Dokes. Michael Dokes, who is a very bright young man, has a lot of interests, has the ability to change strategy. The strategy is a little different in this fight. Flat-footed, toe-to-toe with his English opponent. If you just join us, a tiny cut in over the left eye, in the F left eyelid, Dokes in the white trunks. Now the jabs are not as accurate here in the fourth round. Remember, if you're judging the fight, the 10-point must. The winner, 10 points. The loser of the round, 9 or less. A good left hook. Doesn't phase Gardner one bit. British and European champion. Look how the Englishman cocks that right hand. He's an uncomplicated fighter. His reputation coming to the United States is that he always gives 100%. I think thus far you'll have to agree. We'd like to alert our stations along the line, and we'll be taking a station break at the end of this round. Oh, beautiful combination, setting him up with two left hooks, a right, a left, a right, left again. Remember, Gardner has never been stopped, but he is down. seconds remaining in round four, but this may be it. The doctor is being called in, Dr. Adrian Knight of the Michigan Commission, but that appears to be all. Now the second Michigan Commissioner comes in, Dr. Lacey Walk, with about 110 to go in the fourth round. A different Michael Dokes, ranked number three in the WBC rankings, wanting to prove that he has what it takes. He wanted this as a test. I think you'll have to agree that he has what it takes at 6'3", 215 pounds. Quick, quick hands. Good combination puncher. And the native of Akron, Ohio, where in high school he was a linebacker, a tackle. Now here you see those lefts. There was the first right, another left. And you see Gardner's wobbly now. Spaghetti legs, another left hook. That one on the back of the head, almost a rabbit punch. A left hook, another. It won't be long, and there it is. Mouthpiece being knocked right from the jaw of the big heavyweight from Hackney, England. Remember, it's the first time he has been stopped. Only his third loss. As we look at it from another angle, as Tom Briscoe, the referee, lets them go at it, it was a vicious attack, a flurry of punches. Look at Dokes. giving it his all with a minute and ten seconds remaining in that fourth round and the only knockdown of the scheduled ten round bout came right there and he hit the deck very very hard but insulite is beneath this Kansas canvas here which helps absorb some of the shock and of course there is a happy man he is only 22 years old and he was impressive in his last fight against Randall Tex Cobb, March 1981, and his maturity certainly showed tonight. We'll have more championship boxing from Joe Louis Arena in Detroit after this word. And there he is, the undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, WBC from Easton, Pennsylvania, Larry Holmes at 212 and a quarter, his 10th title defense. And this 31-year-old is proud of the title, and he is ready to go with his five-inch reach over this former champion, Leon Spinks, weighing in at 200 and a quarter pounds. 27 years old and a very solemn, uh, he's reached some mental maturity, and I think you'll see when he gets in the ring and Howard Cosell calls the fight, you'll see some physical maturity on the part of Spinks as well.
And now there is the winner at 110 of the fourth round, a knockout, his 11th in a career of 22 fights, Michael Spinks of Akron, Ohio, and I don't, Dokes rather, I don't think I've ever seen Michael Dokes as happy as he is right now, because Gardner was a tough opponent. As we take a look at the knockdown and the knockout, left hooks, solid left hooks, Gardner trying to fall inside, some of them, but the right hand there set him up. And these were other punches that added to the damage. And then another right hand, and he is down on his posterior, his back, and his head hit, and rebounded several times on that insulite uh, padded ring. So at 110 of the fourth round, and a schedule 10, Michael Dokes, a number three contender, looks just that, and perhaps even better. As he wins it here, Holmes and Spinks coming up. World Championship out. Stay tuned.